Hey there everyone, Audio Knight here, and welcome to Sheltered. This is a game by the people who made the Worms games. It's all about a reality where nuclear deterrence has failed, and your small family of four has to ride out the apocalypse. Let's get started. Slot 1, empty. Ooh, okay, that's a little loud. Customize family. In Sheltered, you look after a family of two adults and two children. Before you begin, you can customize how each individual looks, set their traits, and also their stats. Traits and stats governs... La la la. Traits and stats govern how the characters act. For example, a character with high strength is especially powerful in melee combat. Select help on the blah 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 blah. blah. Okay. Be right back. Alright, so we got Billy, Becky, Bobby, and Susanna. And our pet is a lovely cat named Mr. Meow Meow, and we are the Guzman family. This only took me about uh, 10 minutes to do. I'm terrible. Oh yeah, I want to I wanna talk about each character real quick. This is my self-insert character. He's pale, he has a beard, uh, he likes burgundy. It's not my favorite color, but I like burgundy. And he's blonde for the most part. Uh, I tried to go with traits I thought would be really good for the apocalypse. So he is logical. She is athletic. Uh, logical gives you a good intelligence and charisma bonus, as well as a minor bit of perception. Athletic makes you very dexterous and somewhat strong. Our son is uh, rough and tumble, so he's got good dexterity and strength as well. He's also resourceful. I don't know how big of a factor the traits will play in, um, but Billy is proactive, Becky is courageous, Bobby is resourceful, and Susanna is proactive. Wait. Oh, I need to change hers. What do we want her to be? Uh, she can be the optimist of the group, but she's also always on alert. She's got that perception for days. All right, and I mainly want the cat because it only requires feeding every other day. It's simple. It also keeps uh keeps rats out. Uh yes, I don't know how to play this game. We'll do the tutorial and a few minutes after that, and we'll see where it goes. Psychopaths will let you know when they're on the edge. They're nice like that. Okay. So yeah, as you can tell, the graphics are very uh very low res. All right, where's our kitty cat? Where's our kitty cat? Cat? Okay, there's Mr. Meow Meow. Look around the shelter by moving the cursor to the edge of the screen with the mouse and move the camera with the air or move the camera with the arrow keys. Zoom in and out with left control. Take a good look at your surroundings. Okay. Highlight an object and press right mouse to interact with it. The shelter is powered by a petrol generator. Add fuel to the generator to restore power. Okay, add fuel. Okay. Commands will be performed by the currently selected family member shown at the top left of the game screen. The generator must be kept running to power vital life support systems. Got it. Okay, what's next? Spread work across the family to avoid tiring. Highlight a family member and press left mouse to select them. You can also use Q and E to cycle through all your shelter members. Can I use... Oh, okay, cool. I can use Wasta to move the camera as well. That makes this a lot easier. Select Becky for this task. Regularly fix items to prevent them from breaking. Remember, highlight an object and press right mouse to interact with it. Okay, go fix it. Can we fix it? I don't know, maybe. This icon will appear over any items that are in need of repair. Okay, well, this is pretty basic stuff. And she's done. Good. Good Anya lasagna. It's even more important to look after the family. Remember, highlight a family member and press left mouse to select them. Okay, select Billy for this task. Okay. So he is thirsty. Stats show this character is thirsty. Red bars require attention. Remember, highlight an object and press right mouse to interact with it. Okay. Go satiate your thirst. Quench your thirst, Billy. I guess that's a water cooler. Uh, your goal is to survive for as long as possible. You can explore, expand, maintain the shelter, and keep the family healthy to help achieve this. 
Explore and gather resources by using the radio transmitter to set up an expedition. Expand the shelter and build new items with the workbench. Your next step might be to explore, to build, or check on your family. How you survive is up to you. Okay. What is this? Heh, <laughs> it's a water butt. Okay, uh, everyone's doing pretty good. You need to drink some water. You just sent- I mean, it's not really a job to drink water. But okay, jobs appear next to the selected member's portrait, and you can have a maximum of two jobs in the queue. Jobs include actions such as fixing, repairing, crafting, eating, drinking, showering, and sleeping. You can cancel a job by pressing C or clicking the X on the job tab. Okay. Um, Susanna, you are on alert. What is this? Day one. We're alone. We only have each other now. Our family lineup is Billy, Becky, Bobby, Susanna, and our pet cat. Mr. Meow Meow. I wonder who used to live in this shelter. It looks as though they left in a hurry. Or were forced to leave. Luckily, the supplies they left behind still appear to be intact. We will try to make this new place our home. Or we will try to make this place our home. Okay. Um, Scan frequencies. Uh, how do I build? I want to build stuff. Water filter. Camper van. Um, take bandages, take anti-rads. Okay, uh, ah, okay, there's the workbench. We just got here, man. Calm down. What is this? Oh, okay, that's nice. Um, what's this? Hazmat suits. Okay, yeah, I'm going to give him a hazmat suit and send him out here to check the camper van. I've only seen a very little bit of this game being played, so I don't know what all is actually possible. Oh, okay, a sturdy set of wheels. The RV offers a huge storage capacity for wasteland expeditions and requires less water than traveling by foot. The RV uses petrol and cannot be taken on expeditions without any. Once you have found all the parts to the RV, you can choose to use it in the expedition setup screen. Okay, so he doesn't need to actually check See, I thought it when it said check vehicle, I thought it was like, oh, uh, you're going to explore it and see what the other people left for us. OK, um, let's see what we can craft. Building new systems and upgrading is important as they will help you run your shelter more efficiently. You can find items out in the wasteland and then use them to upgrade or create new items here. You can also expand your shelter by crafting new rooms in the workbench. Okay. Uh, first aid kit, snare trap, shelter room. I know we need we need a bed because we're starting to get a little tired. We also need a toilet. Do we have a toilet? I don't know. Um, we'll need a shower as well. Hmm. Let's build a shelter room. And then... <gasps> bunny! I see a bunny! I want to make it to a, into a pet. Uh, Bobby. I want you to craft... Well, what do I have? What do I have? Okay, so that's a small crate. Storage, Mr. Meow Meow. Food bowl for the pet. Clipboard, radio transmitter. Intercom. What do we have the parts to upgrade? Can we upgrade this? We can. Uh, none of those just yet. How do I refill that? Ooh. Okay. Um, I don't know what to upgrade. Okay, so we need a toilet. For sure. A grave. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, how, do, how do I make a proper toilet? What do I need? Oh, my God. Tier three. OK, let's see. Let's let's go, let's try to upgrade the workbench as soon as possible. OK, we need hinges and we need rope. Oh, OK, so we can go ahead and make it level two right now. Tired and needs to sleep. Okay, uh... Becky, make a bed. Um, put a bed right there. Oh god, why does it take everybody so long to do everything? 
I love how realistic the cat is. All it does is run around the, the shelter and sleep. I'm glad it can climb up and down the, the ladder, though. It's a nice little touch. If you want to speed up time, you can press left shift or the fast forward button. Ah, fantastic. Okay. You can move most of the objects around your shelter by going to the workbench and selecting rearrange shelter. Okay. Um, you. Through scanning the frequencies, we have discovered a radio broadcast from a trade caravan not far from us. They have given us their location and we have added it to the map. Okay. You need to sleep. You can work on actually doing that. Okay, we need we need another bed. Speed of time. Sleep. Sleep, young one. Okay, so stressed out. Okay. Oh no, one of the blah blah blah. This occurs when your basic their basic needs such as hunger and thirst are not satisfied. You can also take stress relief in the form of medicinal tablets. You can use available tablets and Helion don't care. Alright, so you need to stop that for right now. Somebody needs a shower. My goodness. Bobby, make a makeshift shower for us. Um, why can't I put it anywhere? You're kidding me. Con Sonnet. Okay, uh, rearrange shelter. I need somewhere better to put this crap. Can I move this up here? Okay, now we can place a shower. You go back to sleep. I don't want you. Bobby's got to make the shower. He wants to get clean. He's got to earn it. Day two. Ooh, uh, can I close these? I need hinges. A stranger has approached your shelter. You can communicate with strangers by answering the intercom. I don't know if I want to do that. Hey, you seem to be doing all right for yourself. You've probably got a huge storeroom full of supplies. I'm sure we can strike a trade, but I ain't letting you have any of my stuff cheap. Sure. Let's see what happens. You trade your items for items and resources carried by other wasteland survivors. Each item has a value, and the total value of the items you want to, that you want to trade must at least match the value of the total value of the I, blah, I can't say value anymore of the items that you want. Some traders will offer you good deals, and some bad. It's up to you to decide on what you're willing to trade. Do you have any hinges? No. <sighs> mm, excuse me. I want your limestone. Um, I'll give you. Oh God. Uh. Okay, cool. One anti-radiation tablet is amazingly expensive. Uh, take that back. Sure. Trade complete. Okay, Billy, time for you to stop sleeping. You, it's time for you to start sleeping. When nature calls, looks like somebody needs the toilet. Okay. And it's Billy, of course it is. Okay, our water supply is dangerously low. Okay, uh, you set up an expedition. Assemble your party. Going on expeditions allows your shelter members to search the wasteland for items and resources and recruit other wasteland survivors to your shelter. Oh, okay. You can have as many concurrent expeditions as you like, but the party size is two maximum. Um... Select your expedition party members. Courageous, hands off, proactive, and cowardice. Resourceful, but pessimistic. I'm going to send Susanna because she's alert. She can she can be our, our lookout. Um, and Becky, the women are going to be the ones who get stuff done. Okay, plan your route. You can plot exactly where your party will travel to by adding waypoints on the map. Expeditions cost water. The longer the expedition, the more water is required. Okay, um... Go to that school. Small house. The church. Oh, how do I get more water then? Okay, um... 
I'll figure out how to get water and stuff, and uh, we'll continue this in the next one. Because I don't know how to... I don't know how to do what I need to do. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this intro to Sheltered. Um, I will be doing more on this. The next one will have a lot more progress. Um, I'm just running a little low on time today. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely an interesting game. Let me... Okay. It's definitely an interesting game. I really like the survival aspect of it already. Although I'm already probably going to die. So we'll see where it goes. Anyways, remember to take care of yourselves. And I'll see you in the next one.